Welcome to a tutorial by Don Twine. In this video, I'm going to go over using a special tag within Sugarcube. So we often find ourselves in situations where we want to set up a bunch of different values, generally run the set macro a number of times or prepare some values or do different things before the starting passage happens. For that purpose, Sugarcube has two different approaches. This video covers one and then another sister video will cover the other approach. In this video, we're going to talk about the init tag, I-N-I-T. When used with passages, Sugarcube will run those first and then the starting passage. Now, I want to note here that you should never mix functionality that are either tag approached or passage approached. So this video is going to cover tag approached and we'll talk about why you might want to do it. Different video, I'm going to talk about passage approach and why you might want to do that. So to start for this video, I'm using INIT, a tag, that I've given both of these passages right here, and I've also set them up with a color red so we can kind of easily see what they are. So I'm going to come over here to example one, and I'm going to point out the INIT init tag allows us to run passages before others. So before the starting passage, we can run other passages generally to set up values. There is another approach covered in a different video called story init which is a passage approach rather than a tag approach. But again, this video is on the tag approach. So we're going to see a listing right here of story write variables, but we're not establishing them despite the fact that this is the starting passage. And this is where the in and tag really becomes useful. So if I go ahead and build and run from example one, we will see they have values. Hi there, see, and not that. Now, this is where the init approach has a little bit of complications, but can be incredibly useful. So when working with tags, we can apply them to multiple passages. In Sugarcube, if multiple passages have the init tag, they will be run in alphabetical order. Code setup will be run before code setup 2. So in code setup, notice I'm setting example to high and another to this, but that's not what you saw. If I pull up example 1, notice down here we did not see this, we saw and that which is set up over here in code setup two. Example two is set up and another is changed to a different value, which is what we saw in sequence. So using INIT allows us to set up multiple passages that will run for the starting passage and they are also run in alphabetical order. Now, having said that, generally you don't want more than one or two passages that set up everything. And so again, there's an entirely different approach using passages that does the same thing. But at least in this example, you might want to set up things in, some things in one passage, some things in another passage, but generally not more than a handful at most. Keeping in mind, of course, they will be run in alphabetical order. So if you need values set up, keep that in mind. So in this case, code setup is run before code setup 2, which of course is produced before example 1 right here as a starting passage. So the INIT init tag becomes incredibly useful in Sugarcube as we want to initialize to set up some values ahead of our starting passage, generally of course working with the set macro or other potential macros to prepare data, prepare a story, prepare variables for a reader or player to then experience as jumping into the starting passage. So using the INIT tag in Sugarcube 2.36. Thanks for watching.